What's up guys, Mr. Yazdan here today with my lovely assistants. I have four of them today, so I don't need to work hard. Uh, we are going to uh, make solid rocket fuel. Yes, you heard it right, rocket fuel. We are about to have a project of sending a rocket to the space. Okay, not space exactly, but somewhere in the air. So the first step for us is making a fuel for it. Hi, I'm Qasai. Hi, my name is Abdullah. Hi, my name is Rashid. Hi, my name is Ammar. Uh, by the way, they all can speak Arabic, I cannot, okay? So if you can speak Arabic, if they say something about me or about project, please write in the comments so I know what they're saying, okay? Thank you guys. <laughs> but so what, how gonna start, I'm gonna close it. Uh, obviously, safety first, so they're all having the goggles. Look at them, they started already, we haven't done it. I'm gonna introduce the, um, all the substance, what we need. The main substance is this one, this white powder. No, it's not what you think, not, not even that one. Yes, it's some chemical <laughs> things for them to know. <laughs> As a guys, they know what I'm talking about. This is a potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is not easy to find them. However, in certain countries uh, where they sell a stump remover, that's it, you go to the sh shop, you buy a stump remover, and that's what you need, potassium nitrate. Um, in some other countries, they use this in the food industries. This is called uh, salt pitre. Is that correct? Yeah. Salt pitre? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and it's been used in food industries like uh, meat factories and all this kind of stuff. It does give a color to the meat. Uh, the second thing we need is something you add to your tea or coffee, sugar. Uh, what else do we need, guys? Oh, the equipment. Yes, the equipment. We have Bunsen burner here. We don't have the slow cook like a heater. We're going to use Bunsen burner. Hopefully it will work. I'm using the, one of our big uh, beaker here. Guys, this is cracked already. It wasn't me, it, it is, I just noticed it's cracked, so we're gonna use another one, but we might end up cracking it, so uh, in advance I apologize to the science department and our technician. <laughs> Wooden spatula, this looks like a ice cream, ice cream stick, whatever it is. We have balance here, because we have to ma measure our um, substances carefully. So we need uh, 60 or 40? 60. 60. And it's 40 children. So it's not gonna work like this. Let's let's let's, let's, yeah. let's pour it. Let's ah, pour it there. Pour it. So, very slow. And watch the ground. So do we add sugar? sugar yes. Mm -hmm. We don't have sugar. I don't know where it is. Ah, let the man Do it gently, do it gently, look what you're doing! Sir, it's him, he was here! He's doing... Do it gently, look what you're doing! Sir, it's him, he was here! He's doing... Not Arabic style! We are removing the heads of matches to make a fuse. Make a fuse. How are we going to make a fuse? Using this wood. Right, we're going to use a cotton string, add a little bit of water to that when it's completely grind it, and leave it to dry. And that's going to be our fuse. Good job, man. Look at them. Safety sitting on the counter. Omar, why is it turning to brown? Because it's. Uh First of all, it's like caramelizing, and then it's like mixing it with. Uh, Smell nice, isn't it? Yeah. I so hope we don't uh, trigger the smoke alarm. <laughs> Basha, you s your face is so serious. I want to eat it though. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, smoke alarm! Smoke alarm! Let's go. Let's well done. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> so this is the situation. Lots of smoke. Everyone came here to arrest me. <laughs> you got the next Heisenberg. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> so thank you guys. Today. Uh, 
coffee for now. Oh yeah, you remember? I should go home <laughs> and never come back. So guys, as you can see, safety first. We did risk assess this uh, experiment uh, beforehand, so predicting all these things might happen. Uh, all my bad. I apologize to everyone. Sorry. This is the cooked um, rocket fuel. Um, it's not completely caramelized because we add water, but that's fine. I'm gonna take a small amount of this to test, and if it works well, the rest is gonna go in our the um, well sample rocket to test it. Okay, thank you. Finally, it's the time to go outside and test our rocket fuel. I've made these two different sizes. Um, I haven't made fuse for it yet, so maybe in another video. And how just testing the, how the fuel works. I'm a bit excited about it. Let's go and do it. Almost. didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> 